So, third of the eighth, here we are. In our message today. Right? Everyone's awake, that's the main thing. Uh, in our message today, we're going to be looking at Jesus. Uh, it's all about Jesus. I like what Brother Thomas said here this morning. You might think, oh, well, I know all that. But most people don't. You know, most people think they, they know so much. But it's only until we, we really surrender to Jesus, we know we know nothing. And we really get the revelation without him, I can do nothing of any weight. And of course, we all... Uh, believe we're saved we're safe if Jesus was to come we're all saved and safe and, and living like I don't know what and those simple things that brother Thomas was saying this morning about housing and cars and, 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 and being a good family man and, and having everything in order and this is all good, this is all good, but did you sacrifice the Christ once again for that? Did we put him on the cross again to have that? Or did that come to us and was that added to us as we first sought the kingdom of God and his right way? Amen? Amen. Yeah, so I'd like to start this morning with uh, today's the 38th, 2014 Sunday meet at Jesus the Christ Ministries Mission. A brochure I have in my hand, Who's Your Daddy? Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Where's your daddy gone? And they relate to Jesus and they relate to Father, you know, old mate and daddy and the man upstairs and it breaks my heart it breaks my heart when people relate to God as daddy you know it's a Pentecostal thing taught to the wanton that's basically it we must have respect for for God because he's G-O-D not A-O-G is G-O-D. I mean, creator of heaven and earth and all things seen and unseen. Hosanna in the highest of places. Can you say amen? Paul the Apostle, in the writings of Colossians 1, 28 and 29, says what? Let's go there. <coughs> Colossians 1, 28. And 29 says clearly in my Bible, Him we preach, the Christ we preach, warning every man, warning every man and every woman, and teaching every man and every woman in the wisdom of God, not satanic wisdom, that we may present every man and every woman perfect in the Christ Jesus. To this end I also labour, striving not in the flesh, but according to the working which works in me mightily, working in the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. And the word which is spirit working in us. And Brother Thomas also came here this morning, gave me a, a writing of his that the Lord put on his heart. And he's, uh, Brother Thomas has been getting some nice little nuggets there. Or where there's nuggets, there's a mind. Can you say amen? And he gave me this write-up and, and talking about walking in the Spirit and, and how he has struggled over the years 
with walking with Jesus because there was that one thing, there's that one thing he never did. Really did. Really, 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 really did. He, he never died, did he? Well, better still, when we come to the Lord, we, we are dead in Christ and and uh, alive to him. And But he never fully got that revelation. And now he has, and I can see it in his words and in his writing. We really must get that revelation. And you know, Father won't reveal that to us unless we're genuine. John 7, 17, if we want to do Father's will, hey, Brother Wilson, it was 40 years for Brother Donald, before he really got the revelation, hey, uh, uh, um, I'm churched, well and truly churched and well and truly versed, but I hadn't, he hadn't handed it over, you know what I mean? The, the word of the Lord says that he will thoroughly purge the threshing floor. It won't be a quick sweep. There's always choices involved with the thorough purge. The benefits thereof is, is just glorious and beautiful. And, 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 then, and a lot of separation goes on with that. And a lot of, a lot of um, heartache in the flesh. Heartache by the numbers. Problem by the score. So, the brochure I showed you with the monkey on the front, who's your daddy, is from the Miracle Christian Centre, Australia, Caboolture, headed up by a Dorian Ballard. He called himself an apostle. He said he had a supernatural encounter with the power of Jesus and became a Christian. If you have a supernatural encounter with the Spirit of God, you won't be calling yourself a Christian. I tell you now, because that's so vast, it could never be narrow. It's so vast, that word Christian, oh look, it's fast catching up to the word love. And they actually, believe it or not, they use that word love in Hollywood. Da, 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 They actually use that word love in Hollywood. They actually use it in, in churched churches. So vast. But we know that love it comes in three uh, ways, doesn't it? In the erotic and the ophelia and the agape. And that agape, that's the gold mine, isn't it? That's when we lay hold of these nuggets of, of true repentance, whew, we end up digging a little bit further. Glory. <laughs> hey? It's gold in them near hills. You know what I mean? <laughs> Woo! Glory! Calls himself an apostle. And they're, they're, they're out there by the hundreds and thousands. Had a supernatural encounter. Became a Christian in 1993. I must warn. I must warn you sheep, you brethren. I must let you know. Stay clear of this garbage. I must teach the truth so that you can go free from you and sin and Satan and wrath to come and help. At the age of 18, he got saved. So, so it says here, this is his own write-up. I'm not slandering or, 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 or vilifying or 
It's his own from his own website. The Miracle Christian Centre Australia. Thanks for supporting the kingdom work in Kabulcha. Two years later, Dorian began proper Bible discipleship in a local church where he led many things such as things such as youth ministry and, and, and children's church and miracle meetings. And none of them are in the in the scriptures, are they? But this is guys an apostle. After nine years of biblical discipleship in two churches, Reverend, Reverend Dorian was released by the pastor and his elders to function as an apostle. Uh, look, uh, he who ascended and descended gave gifts after nine years. Now, he gave gifts to some. Apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, friends. We know by the scriptures in Corinthians the hallmarks of an apostle, mighty signs, wonders and miracles and mighty deeds. Amen? Personal, private intervention with God. Eh? And then... In his church, he has bank accounts for tithing. This is on the internet. Tithing and offerings account. Building fund account. Fundraising account. Welfare account. This is an apostle. We're supposed to, apostles are of like precious faith. Apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, and evangelists should be of like precious faith, faith as the apostolic men had. That was Their faith was in Jesus. Their trust was in God. They too had no money back and they did this, and, you know what I mean? They, they, they trusted in the Lord with all their heart, soul, strength and mind. They never built buildings. They never had welfare outlets. Apostle. And then under that, there is a sales section. Sales. Revelation 22, 17. Sales of books and discs. The spirit and the bride say, come and, and drink of the waters of life freely. And those who come, let them tell others to come and drink of the waters. And this guy calls himself an apostle. I got in touch with the man. He wouldn't respond and he wouldn't answer. I told one of his disciples who didn't know Jack about the scriptures, I told that woman, you tell him to, to give me a ring and we'll have a chat. I just want to have a talk to him. You must warn the people of these. Hey? Apostles aren't made. Apostles are gifted. Apostles are. Prophets are. Before you entered the womb, I knew you and that's when I anointed you and appointed you. Before you entered the womb. Come on now. Hey? Jeremiah says in, in, that God will put the word in our heart, bring it to our remembrance in time of need. Hey? Pentecostal churches today, they've always taught and believed that if you plant churches, you're an apostle. Brother Isara's relatives, Samoan uh, church planters, planted churches and they weren't even born again. Come on now. Planting churches means nothing. If you're not speaking the bona fide truth. Hey? If you're not led by the Spirit. Welfare accounts. Uh, hey? Building. Building fund. Fundraising. Welfare, tithes and offerings. No apostle ministered tithes and offerings. I'll tell you that now. Hey? The other thing I want to say before we start the main message, and that is I have another article, another magazine in my hand, The Focus, um, A2 Larger. 
customized actually, bigger than an A2, yeah, bigger than an A2, full glass uh, magazine from the Anglicans, always crying poor mouth, aren't they? Yeah. Anglicans on the run. I reckon they would be too. <laughs> Help us raise funds. Band on the run. Band on the run. Sail and sail. Angels are needed to help raise money for Anglicare at the bridge to Brisbane Run. Become an Anglicare angel. Challenge yourself to walk or run three foot. You may even want to you may even want to wear wings as the two young ladies on the advertising wearing wings wearing wings. And we don't read of any female angels in the Bible doing but yeah, they, this is this is what they promote, and this is drummed into the heads of of, of the uh, the gulls. The Anglicare angels are focused on fun, not competition. You don't have to be fit to take part, or you could buy the new 2014-2015. Entertainment book from Anglicare. Entertainment membership books are packed with hundreds of up to 50% off, two for one offers of the best local restaurants, cafes, beast huts, I mean, attractions. Hotel accommodation, travel, and much more. You know the best thing of all? For every book sold, $13 goes to the Anglicans. Wanted, regular givers. Trusting in the Lord with all your heart, leaning not on your own understanding. And then we have a a middle page spread when no religion is no longer an option. This is all one world church talk. No religion is no longer an option. You better get yourself a religion. Eh? Prelude, this is to the joining the one world church or else the funds will be cut. And they name the religions. It's got Roman Catholic, Anglican, Uniting Church, Presbyterian, Greek Orthodox, Baptist, Lutheran, Islam, Buddhism and others, please. I don't see the word Christian there and I don't see the word disciple of Jesus. That's because they're not religions. And, I, and you know I don't like to use the word Christian. No religion. Dr. Andrew Kernow, AM. That must have been in the morning, isn't it? AM. No religion is officially the second biggest single response to the question of religion in Australia. Second biggest. I have no religion, they say. Praise God. I'm rejoicing for them that they've got no religion. Only the Catholics prevailed with 25% of the Australian population, while the Anglicans run a jealous second at 17%. Hey? And non believers came in at the third place. They got the bronze. <coughs> And on the back, so the, the Roman Catholics have the gold medals, the Anglicans have the silver, and the non-believers have the bronze. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I'm really brassed off, I tell you. And on the back it's got a, 
a full color spread, how to become a professional counselor. Not a messianic counselor. Those who are born again and have the spirit of God have the spirit of counsel. We have the spirit of counsel. We have the counselor, the Christ. How to become a professional, a worldly counselor in other words. Hey? Well, we go into the message today in the Old Testament writings of Samuel. Remember, it, we're dealing in 1 Samuel chapter 6, 7 to 14. We are in the Psalms season series. Psalms season series. And we're having a look at the Psalms of Pastor Paul Sheehan. This is a little psalm I wrote back in 1989. And we'll be lowing. Are you ready there? And we'll be lowing as we go with the seed of life. Not knowing when the joy will come. Many will be saved. Many will be healed. Many will be freed through the word of God, through the seed of life. And we'll be giving all we got to the people in need, speaking with sincerity. We'll be lowered as we go, lowered as we go, yeah. Lord, as we go with the seed of life, with the word of God, with the seed of life. Lord, and as we go, I chose that psalm, 1989, I put that on paper. The Spirit of God was ministering to me about my walk. Now going forward, and the scripture is 1 Samuel 6, 7 to 14. 1 Samuel 6, 7. Now therefore make a new cart, take two milk cows which have never been yoked. Hitch the cows to the cart and take two calves home away from them. Take their calves away. Then take the ark of the Lord and sit it on the cart and put the articles of gold which you are returning to him as a trespass offering in the chest by its side and send it away and let it go. And watch. If it goes up the road to its own territory, Beth Shemesh, then he has done us this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that has struck us. It happened to us by chance. 1 Samuel 6, 10. Then the men did so. They took two milk cows, two milchkins, hitched them to the cart, shut up their calves at home. And they set the ark of the Lord on the cart and the chest with the gold rats and the images of their tumors. Then the cows headed straight for the road to Beshemesh and went along the highway lowing as they went. Lowing as they went and did not turn aside to the right hand or the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them to the border of Bashemesh. Now the people of Bashemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley, and they lifted their eyes and saw the ark and rejoiced to sin. Hey? Then the cart came into the field of Joshua of Bashemesh, stood there next to a large rock which was there. So they split the wood 
of the car. Offered the cows as a burnt offering to the Lord. magnify this to me although I wrote it in 1989 and the Lord all the ways years later showed me my wife and I being yoked together in the Philippines <laughs> and she was only on the milk in the word and they were milk cows weren't they Woo! never been yoked together before We're the seed of life. So our message today is it's all about Jesus. All that was left there was the ark and the cart was burnt and the cows were sacrificed. And, and Brother Thomas was speaking about that this morning, sacrificing our lives, wasn't he? And he didn't know I was going to minister this today. He had no idea whatsoever. But I just knew that the spirit would move again as usual, hey? So in my song and psalm, and as I have said in the last couple of weeks, as I started this series, the psalm season series, that David wrote psalms of his era and... Uh, many followers of the Lord have written their songs and psalms relating to the Lord and they're all when you look at the true songs and psalms of the servants of the Lord they always relate to salvation, damnation continuation hey, restoration con you know it, it, it's all about the walk and it all comes back to the one, doesn't it, Jesus? And the ark, the ark was a, was a type of Jesus. Hey? That, that cart was like uh, iron filings to a magnet. It had been captured by the Philistines and it was being sent back. They've had enough. They were plagued out with rats and tumours. Can you say amen? They said, we've got to get rid of this. So they put an offering in, trespass offering, because trespassers will be prosecuted. Amen. And... And on that first... Uh, Paragraph there of the, the psalm that I just sang. We'll be lowing as we go. There's, there's a lot in that line alone. Lowing, lowing as we go. You can't tell me that doing the Lord's work is going to comfort your flange. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to strike it. And it, it, don't tell me it's not going to uh, uh, destroy your brainwave ideas. Because it will. Right? All humans have a plan for themselves, don't they? Everyone likes to be king. Everybody wants to rule the world. No, no. Everyone wants to be the man. Who wants to be rich and, oh yeah, I'm going to do this and do that and everyone look at me. When the Lord shows you how ugly you really are, you don't want to look at you. Hey? You want to look at Him. 
You want to look at Jesus. You, you want to see Jesus uh, standing at Father's right hand. When you take the word of God forward, you see these two cows, they never knew each other. They were yoked together and, and the power of God was on them. When, when the ark went into the field, the workers rejoiced because they knew what was coming. It was the ark. I mean, the ark was used in times of war. It was used in times of giving direction. Uh, miracles happened when the ark came. Healing. The Shekinah glory. The power of God when the ark came. And this is why the Philistines grabbed hold of it. You try to rub it like a genie, you know, rub the old lamp and see what happens. They ended up with their God being smashed to pieces in the temple, Dagon, which tells you there's no mix. You can't mix Jesus with doctrines of men and teachings of men and women and denominations, demonization. You can't mix. He won't. Jesus won't be propped up in a temple next to Santa Claus or statues of so-called saints. You know what I mean? Or better still, so-called statues of true saints. Hey? As Peter and Paul and Jude and James and that village incubator Mary. We're lowing as we go. Yes, yes, yes. When the anointing's on you, the ark was a type of the anointing. The ark is, is the type of the anointing on a man and a woman. On a man and a woman when they're married and they come together and they're one and they're yoked together. Hey? And, 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 and that yoke is, is, is the Lord's yoke. And the Lord's doing. The anointing will be there. And they will low as they go. It won't be happy, happy. There will be difficult times. But they will always hit the target. It won't be bouncing off the wire and hitting 25s. It will be bullseye. As these cows landed right there in the field of Joshua. Joshua means saviour. Hey? Eh? And the ark talks about a house. It, it, it's symbolic of a house and, 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 and a, a temple and a container. That's us. The Ark of the Covenant on the cows is a type of the Holy Ghost indwelling, Christ indwelling in us. Lowing as we go. With the seed. We go with the seed. And we do go. We, we go. Go into all the world. All the world. Everywhere you can reach, go out and reach. As the Spirit is upon you. As Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. To preach the gospel to the poor. To heal the broken heart and set the captive free. That's the work of the ministry. Hey? Tell the poor. They're not poor if they, and they won't be poor if they come to Jesus. They'll be in finite airs. Can someone say amen? Hey? Psalm 126, 5. Read it with me. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Hey? We go for weeping. You're, you're crossing over the flesh and, and the degenerated mindset of the past. As Brother Thomas said, prior to the meaning... Forget the past. Move on. Consecrate your heart unto the Lord. 
Be of the circumcised heart. Be righteous. Don't be sneaking around the place. We're not sneaks. Making up stories. That's not the true saint. That's not the saint. I can tell you now. That's a person that's hell bound. We need to be sincere. We need to be true to the Lord. And if you're true to the Lord, everything else will fall into place, won't it? Hey? Now, therefore, make a new, listen, a new car, take two milk cows. And, and the Lord does it. He takes the babes in Christ and yokes them together. I know people that have come to the Lord and they're married and they're only babes in Christ and they go forward under the anointing. New cart. See, there has to be that born again, that new creature. The new cart. We're just the cart, aren't we? Like we're just carting. We're just carrying. It's not of us. It's he in us. Take two milk cows which have never been yoked. And I met my wife in the Philippines and the Lord yoked us together. I tell you what. And take their calves away from them. And, and look, there was things taken away from me for this to happen. Removed from my life. There will be things removed. And people removed out, please, out of the way. The Lord wants to use this vessel. Move aside. As I said to my wife's family, she might be your sister or daughter, but she's my wife now. And that's first and foremost. Don't forget it. Lord, as we go. Lord, as we go. See the blind word of God. We'll be giving all we got. Give it all we got. We did. We ended up back in the Philippines. We sold all our possessions, even our children. Even our children sold their possessions, their toys, and, and were taken away from their friends and, and, and were uprooted out of their school grades. Go to the Philippines and give it all you got, and we'll be giving all we got. People in need. Speaking with sincerity. Lord, and as we go, with the seed. That's not just scripture to us sell all your goods and give to the poor. My family and I have done that. We have lived that. We know that. We know the power of it, and we know the joy of it, and we know the blessing of it. Aye? And the children load as they went. That 12 months, day and night, we load as we went and in their new schooling and everything. But when they came back, the blessing fell like never before. The children were two grades ahead. Of the children in their class. Two grades ahead. They were way ahead. Blessing. The Lord blessed them. And had done a work in them. And, and, and they seen. Uh, the real poor and the destitute. Not just dull bludgers. Mm -hmm. 
that all for Jesus. It wasn't anyone else that asked us to do that. Brother Shadrach, would you like to turn that off, please? And the other one. And maybe turn this one on. On one. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. And the cart was burnt. That's like the type of burning all our possessions in my car and sacrificed and, and then we were sacrificed and lived sacrificially and still do today to bring this message forward it's cost my family my wife and I because it cuts it across all religious roads all these religions in in, in, in Brisbane and Queensland, Australia, stinking religion with glossy magazines full of fundraising and female angels with wings. Hey? Fundraising, charity, and there's so many millions out there thinking that they're going to charity their way to heaven. They're going to give their way to heaven. They're going to buy their way to heaven. They're going to work their way to heaven. They're going to study their way to heaven. No, 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 no. The new covenant says to love him first and foremost. That means death. Death to self. It means giving up one's life. It means giving up one's life. Oh, well, they don't really they explain it away, don't they? They explain it away. It doesn't really mean that. You know what I mean? The Lord still wants you to live your life the way you want to. How can you live your life the way you want to and not violate the Word of God? The ways of men and women seem right in their own eyes, but the way thereof is death. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, knowledge of the Lord in all your ways. And he will set your path straight. Amen. <laughs> Ark of the Covenant had in there. It's that they've debated it what was actually in the Ark. Don't worry about the, the trespass offering of the, the golden tumors and the golden rats, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines which it was saying and the Philistines sent it back and it says in 1 Samuel 6 4 <coughs> that the diviners and the priests told them the Philistines hey verse 4 1 Samuel 6 what is the trespass offering which is we shall return to God they answered Five golden tumors and five golden rats, according to the number of the lords. See? So these these Philistine lords were, were just rats, weren't they? Rats and tumors. But they, that was what was sent on them, the, these plagues. For the same plague was on all of you and on your lord. Hey, ravaged the land. Just don't worry about that at the moment. That was the trespass offering. What was actually in the ark? What what, what was it containing? It, it was containing the the um, Ten Commandments, and it contained uh, Aaron's rod, and it contained a jar of manna. And every time I looked at that, you know, others have said it also had the first book of the law. Or the book of Deuteronomy. But I'm just sticking with those three because each time I've read that about the um, Ten Commandments, the rod and, and the um, the jar of manna, I always thought of uh, the Ten Commandments, I always thought of Father and the Son was the, like the jar of manna and the Holy Ghost was Aaron's rod, the power thereof. Hey? Great power uh, the ark carried. 
Always think of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost with us. Hey? And these three I admire most. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hey? <laughs> Glory to the Lamb. And we have all in that one, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit. Hey? That Father and Jesus, uh, if we keep his command, they... Uh, come and make home with us. The writings of John say that um, if we obey the Lord, if we keep the commands, and Brother Thomas was talking about that this morning, also about keeping the commands of the Lord and doing what the Lord has asked us to do. And then we'll be able to go forward with the power of God. We'll have something to uh, 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 minister to the people and the Lord will be able to minister through us to the people hey 1 Samuel 6 I then take the ark of the Lord and set it on the cart and put the articles of gold which you are returning to him as a trespass offering in the chest by its side then send it away and let it go and watch if it goes up the road to its own territory to Beshemeth, then he has done us this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand. It's not God's hand that struck us. It happened to us by chance. And a lot of people think that by chance, don't they? A lot of people think that. They think, oh, no, this has just happened because it's just by chance. But it's God. It's God. We always they, they say, oh, it's chance or it's the devil doing this bad thing. <laughs> But God allows, God allows things to happen. God allows the uh, the four seven elevens. I mean, the the nine elevens, doesn't he? God allows. God allows the the the, the CH seventeens, and yeah, God allows Vietnam. Hey, God allows or, or what? Otherwise, he, he, we say he can't stop it. And as we look at um, we look at what Samuel is saying here, we see that as we go on further, <coughs> as we go on further in one Samuel six, go down to nineteen. Lord, as we go, one Samuel six nineteen. Then he struck the men of Bethshemesh because they had looked into the ark. He struck 50,000 and three score plus 10 of the people and the people lamented because the Lord struck the people with a great slaughter. Look at sticking their big nose in where it wasn't wanted. Is that right? It was all about self. Oh, what's, they're trying to, you know, as Brother Thomas said, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh and the pride of life. Oh, let's have a look in there. Let's see what's going on. It's nothing to do with them. And they stuck their big nose in. 50,000 plus 7T or 3 score and 10 were taken down. Hey, that's a lot of meat. That's a, that's a lot of human going down there, hey? One minute the ark's coming, everyone's rejoicing. And that's the way it is, isn't it? Until we step out of line. And when we start living that lying, cheating, immoral, we start living like that, hey, golden tumours and rats ain't going to stop them. You know what I mean? This is the Jesus we don't know about today in the churches. Hey? One minute he's coming there and he's going to minister to them in his presence and his Shekinah glory and, and the, the miracles and healing and the, oh wow. And the people in the field knew what that ark stood for. 
the healing and the miracle and the power and the Shekinah glory and, and, and allowing the people to discern in the time of war, giving them direction. And the same with the Holy Spirit. And God heals when he wants. And God directs as he wills. And God delivers as he wills. And he's the potter and we're the clay. And we must remember that. Hey? We must remember that. And he'll do what he wants with the clay. And who are we to say to the potter, Oh, why have you made me like this? And why is this my lot? And we don't really know when the joy will come, but I know when it comes, it comes thick. And I, I've gone along there for, for weeks and days and, and, and it's just sort of been, hey, what's happening? And out of nowhere, you know, the joy comes flooding in. It's just the joy unspeakable and the Holy Ghost assurance just bowls me over. And he knows exactly when to bring that. Praise his holy name, eh? Whoo! And so, it's like Eve and uh, Achan. Eve was going along beautifully until she stuck a big nose into the doctrine, didn't she? And tried to uh, change the doctrine. Oh, no, it's okay now. And, and, and Eve says, oh, no, we, we, what we're going to do is we're just going to doctor this a bit and we'll have one saved, always saved, or one saved cannot, once truly saved, once really saved, cannot be lost. Or some Spurgeonite rubbish. God's going to get you there. He's going to drag you there. Because God is love. He's going to go beyond your will. Hey? Or maybe Benny Hinn, you know. Oh, once you've really met Jesus, then no one can possibly, uh, uh, you know, uh, go to hell if you really met him. <laughs> well, what do we see in here? Just here alone. 50,000, he wiped them out, plus 70. Because they just looked into the ark. Oh, it seems nothing to us. It seems nothing to the modern day human. Oh, I just had a look in the ark. I mean, that's how cheaply they would treat the ark. Oh, i just done one thing wrong. Oh, what's wrong with that? What are you? You're a cult leader or something. Hey? Huh? You're a cult leader. Huh? No, cult leaders, cult leaders have your financial details. Cult leaders have your net and gross paying amount. Cult leaders live in beautiful homes like Brian Houston and the Pope and the Muslim leaders of the world. Cult leaders lie through their teeth. Cult leaders master in deception. Cult leaders doctor the doctrine of the crime. And say, Jesus is Lord, but he's not their Lord. But he is Lord. <laughs> and that is the truth, isn't it? Jesus is Lord, but he ain't their Lord. And Jesus is Lord, but he ain't mine. Achan in the camp. Have to get rid of that Achan in the camp. Sinning. Get rid of them. They don't want to toe the line. Move them on. Go somewhere else and do what you do. And do what you do, do well, boy. But don't do it here. One Samuel, and the chapter is, the chapter is, one Samuel six, and the verse is 12. Then the cows headed straight for the road to Bethlehem. And went along the highway, low and as they went, and did not turn aside to the right hand or the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them to the border. Hey? Straight, it says, doesn't it? It says they went straight. 
Now when striped. And we know that cows don't walk straight, don't we? They don't walk straight. <laughs> cows, they're so weighty that they, they, they're, they're not walking perfectly straight. They don't. You watch a cow. When you pull up on the side of the road and have a look at a cow walk, he's standing there, and next minute he just walks off, he goes straight to the left or the right or around in the circle. And we'll be loving as we go. Loving as we go. Yeah. Loving as we go in the seed of life. Word of God. Being stingy, giving all we got, not some ashtray change. Giving all we got, not the drinks in the leftovers, but giving all we got, people need. Amen. Giving all we got. People who don't give all they got, they just don't have a revelation of what they have. In him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Imagine if someone uh, gave you a cricket ball that was solid gold and you, and you sort of had it in your back pocket, you know? And someone said, yeah, hey, can, you, can you buy me a hamburger? I say, man, I'll buy a hamburger for the next year. You got a cricket ball, solid gold. The generous, they know what they got. And the more generous they are, the more revelation they have on what they really have. <laughs> they trust God, they trust the Lord. They love His Word and they believe His Word and they trust the Word. The Word says what it does, doesn't it? It just says it. Give it and be given back to you. Press down, check together, overflowing. I measure that's goodly. And the cow's headed straight. Before they used to walk crooked, crabs walk sideways and lobsters walk straight. Straight for the road of Besham and went along the highway. That's where I met my wife, on the highway. On the highway, yeah. And our mission was on the highway in the Philippines in Buckalo. Silly Gang Highway. And I went along the highway. And doesn't Jesus say go the highway and the byway and the marketplace? Hey? Whoo! Lowing as they went and did not. And Isaiah talks about Isaiah. Isaiah talks about this, doesn't he? Going to the left and the right. You'll hear a voice behind you saying. This is the way walk in it. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right. Don't go to the left, don't go to the right. And these, see the anointing, the anointing, the ark, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the type of, the type of the Godhead in that container, right? And then we have the Godhead in, in our earthen containers, right? Oh, hallelujah. And we're walking straight. Hey, we're on the road called straight. And as they as they went, they were lowing as they went and did not turn aside to the left hand or the right. And the lords of the Philistines went after them and checked them out at the border. Verse 13. Now the people of Bethshemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley and they lifted their eyes and saw the ark. And rejoice. Da da dee dee Hey, they rejoice. You know what? When the anointing's on you, people see me in the street daily. And they rejoice when they say, oh, you're here. Man, I haven't seen you. Where you been lately? They rejoice. 
Okay? Then I'm carrying something, hallelujah. <laughs> now the Holy Ghost is in residence, hey? Hey? There's a flag flying high from the castle of my heart. Oh, there's a flag flying high from the castle of my heart. The castle of my heart, the castle of my heart. There's a flag flying high from the castle of my heart. Because the king is in residence there. Oh, let it fly in the sky. Let the whole world know. Let the whole world know. Let the whole world know. Let it fly in the sky. Let the whole world know. That the king is in residence there. Amen. Amen. We low as we go, but still there's a whole lot more going on with him. And most people think, it, oh, look, what a miserable life you have. No, I have a, I have a heavenly, awesome, weeping life, right? weeping with joy. <laughs> I, I feel sorry for the world. They've got such a miserable life that they, they, they just got no joy unless they put their hand in their pocket and pull out their wallet. There's no joy without it. Unless you've got your hand on your wallet, there's no joy. the Lord, he, he enables us to be self-contained units, hey, fully furnished, ready for the goodly works. Can someone say amen? Verse 14, we're going to finish up now, 1 Samuel 6, then the cart came into the field of Joshua of Beth hey, and stood there, look, next to the large rock. There's Jesus again. And we'll stand before him on the day of judgment. Stood next to the, the right there, there. Hey? Woo! That's I am with you always. Stood next to the rock, see? Wherever you go in the spirit, the Lord will be standing there waiting for you to come. Just park yourself right next. And he'll be there before you get there. Woo! We went to the mission field, my family and I. Done that 12 month crusade, day and night. I got there, I didn't know what was going on, nothing. I seen this building, I said, this is the one, this is where the people are going to uh, get healed, this is where the people are going to go free, this is where the people are going to get saved. Hey? As soon as I got there, I said, this is the place. And as we went by, day by day, it all just come together. Hey? Many will be saved. Many will be healed. And it will be freed through the word of God. See it of life. We'll be given all we got. To the people in need. Speaking with sincerity, that's the big one. Sincerely right, not sincerely wrong. Hey? Time of a message today, it's all about Jesus. He's doing it all. He's using us. We're the earthen vessel. We're doing it for him. It's about him. It's his purpose. All things work to good for them who are called according to the Lord and uh, uh, those who love him and obey him. Right? Romans 8, 28. Let's finish up on that. Let's get the exact words there. All things work to good for them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God. Those who are number one. Right? Those who have Jesus as number one. That's who those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. Right? And everybody said, Amen, amen and Amen and Amen. I'll give you all the glory, Jesus. Hey, I praise you today. It's all about Jesus. If we don't want to, brother, brother, if we don't want to lay down our lives for him, we will never know him. We will never know his joy and peace and his way. It'll just be religion. If we don't want to lay down our lives, we're going to give up our lives and stop compromising Adding a little bit of your old life back in, going backwards like a dog to the vomit and like a sow 
the female pig to the mud. It's when we lay it down, hey, and we low as we go with that seed, the word of God, the doctrine of Jesus. There's no other way they're going to be saved. There's no other way they're going to be delivered and set free from sin, self, Satan, the wrath to come and hell find. Everybody in the house then. And amen? amen? And amen? Did I hear someone say amen? All right. Okay, 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 okay.